welcome to Turtle Bay Resort, the North Shore side of the island. Let's go. So this is the front entrance, valet parking, self parking is available as well. One of the beautiful things about Turtle Bay is the way it's situated. You're pretty much guaranteed no matter where you look, you have a view like that. This is the foyer. Morning. Morning. This is one of the bars. You can get finger foods, small meals, stuff like that. They have a fitness centre here, they do wellness classes, they do have a small, like, a working gym. you like some history and knowledge about Hawaii and their people. It's really beautiful. Slips as background. Mm -hmm. The 
Someone's got to. I don't know. Definitely. I got you. You can also, while you're at Turtle Bay, get GoPros. Definitely changed a lot. As you know, Turtle Bay just recently went through a total refurbishment. The pool area. Unreal. that beach over there. That's where we got married. It is. Let's go explore some more. That's not built for tall people. I'd like duck. very family friendly they have water slides they have a great kids pool it is also very adult friendly with an adults only pool and spa and areas so either way you want to go you covered Thank you. 
chooks. I haven't really seen many chooks out here. option just in case you didn't want to stay in the actual hotel there are more private options available and there are also the bungalows from beginning sarah marshall which is probably one of our most favorite movies which is and the villas are on the other side and although this walkway has been redone this was in that movie as well There's actually a hell of a lot of movies that are filmed at Turtle Bay. Parts of Lost were filmed over here as well. Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Yep, Mike and Dave. Another one of our favourites. Oh, look at him. Oh. He's so bright. Oh, there's another one here. Okay. Wow. Incredible. So the pool's going quiet now during the day. It is quite busy, but they also have that many seats that we have never found a problem so far in getting. Stay there, so. The only thing with the pool is now it's a lot shallower too. It's only like three, four foot deep. Um, being over six foot tall, it's not real deep. Um, Ali nearly drowns because she's five foot. But yes, yeah, it's, it's, they've definitely raised the floor and changed the shape. over to the point right there there's a pillbox you can walk all the way around this is a poolside bar obviously they serve alcoholic drinks and beverages but you can also get again light munchies and food small meals This is where they do the lessons for Jamie O'Brien's surf school. Um, yeah, the two of our favourites on YouTube, him and his partner T Tina. I want to say Tisa. Um, Tina, so. In case everyone's wondering, it's Tisa that married us. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. You can also see really beautiful sunsets here from this side of the island.
they have a massage and spa area. Could you imagine getting a massage there with that view? Turtle Bay also does wedding packages. You can hire out. <clears throat> you can hire out this gazebo here. It opens right up and all you have is these sweeping views. They hold reception. They also can cater for your wedding reception. So from start to finish, they can cater for it. literally walk a whole circle around the whole resort and the whole time just beautiful views gorgeous breeze this bay gorgeous snorkeling it's protected by a reef i have been told that the rips and the currents can get pretty strong on certain times of the year but as long as you stay kind of more inland you'll be fine and if you see all the way over there there are all the villas as well so they're forgetting from forgetting Sarah Marshall as well where that was filmed and other movies Also, if anybody comes here that is a smoker, there's no ashtrays or anything like that for you people, but that's where the smoking area is. Don't do it, just have the information. There's Ali's house. It fits, I'll fits, it. It fits a bit. I'll, I'd probably squish in there with you too, so. <laughs> One of the restaurants that's available on the property is Beach House by Roy's. I really recommend um, eating there. Amazing food. And the service is out of this world. And not to keep bringing it up, but once again, beginning Sir at Marshall, like where Russell Brand and all of them are all sitting outside on the beach. That's the place they're eating at. We'll just stick our head in this a little bit and show you 
So if you go down, also with Roy's, it's also best to book too, so it can get really busy. Look, it's beautiful, right on the beach. Um, probably this. Sorry, this is really yummy. Oh, that's good. Yeah. We've had many romantic dinners there, haven't we? We certainly have. Our first trip we've spent there. I think we ate there like every night. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't remember the exact name, but what is it? The one I... Had. Short ribs. I think, yeah, I think it's like a short rib, but it's boneless. And Amazing. honestly, if you do go there, get it, it will blow your mind. It doesn't look like much, doesn't look filling, but it is, trust me. Try their seafood platter as well. Alright, so this here is car park. You can either self park or valet. If you're staying here, you may as well valet. It's an extra couple of dollars. Um, the guys will go get your car, drop it back. It's I don't ever get to use it, so I use it when we're out here. Plus, on that note, if you can, rent a car because definitely rent a car. It is in the middle of nowhere, so if you don't have a car, you will be very limited. Yeah, to what to, you can do and where you can eat. Yeah. Although there are a, a few restaurants here, they are. I'm more on the expensive side so if you're looking for cheap cheaper eats or budget eats you're going to have to leave the resort you, you can literally go five minutes down the road not even and you'll have 30 food, food trucks, truck city <laughs> and the food there's probably better than anywhere so it works out better if you walk up this path it literally loops you straight back around to valet parking and the front entrance to the hotel Let's go have a look at the other villas though. Oh my gosh, you're carrying a puppy. Oh my god. It's a Chico. I just say. Oh, is it a boy or girl? Girl. She's beautiful. Ours, ours had to stay we at home. A boy at home. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, so cute. cutie. But yes, definitely rent a car. Um, you can get buses here, like there's public transport, but I think it takes a long time to get out. Um, I'm not sure if there's taxis up this end. You can get taxis, I think, to and from, but from what we've been told, it's about $100, $150, I think, each way, at least. Um, so it's an expensive trip, and then if you want to go anywhere, you can't. So you're just best to hire a car. We um, ended up going with Turo because we couldn't get a rental because they still haven't completely stocked back up. And to get what we needed while we were here, it was just the easiest way. It was quick, simple, car was dropped off to us. Um, so yeah, it's definitely an option for you. So yeah, this is the area where they would have been eating outside in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I don't know what they have to change or how they set it up, but um, yeah. And here we have a place that you can snorkel. It's got its own little reef. Now, I wish I knew exactly which villa it was, but it's one of them. I'd have to line it up with the scene from the movie at the same time to pick it. Again, the views. And don't litter, people. Especially here. No one litters, there's no crap everywhere on the ground. Uh, that yeah. Is honestly, one of the things that 
I find really impressive. The Hawaiian people, they love the land and they are so respectful to the wildlife and how connected the animals are to the land. And if we don't take care of it, you know, how it can affect everything. I'm, I really love, you very often see Hawaiian people picking up rubbish off the floor as they're walking. Um, so when you come here, please respect the land, respect the people, take your rubbish with you. And then you have public beach access. I think you can go down that way pretty far. The beaches surrounding Turtle Bay are known for turtle watching. They're, they're always spotted up on the shores around these areas. Again, if you're here, don't touch them. Leave them alone. Look at them, love them, but be mindful that they are a you creature. Can, you can get some pretty big fines too, but yeah. a lot of people just don't pay attention. So that's the walk around Turtle Bay. 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button smash the like button and if you don't want to miss any of our content turn on that notification button as well bye the other way sun is out but the sky is gray